Марко стоят уже. Я знаю, стоят. So as you can probably see, it's a beautiful morning here in my neck of the woods. There's the sunrise right back there, looking beautiful. I uh, snapped a quick picture before I left my house and this is what the picture looks like. As you can see, it's beautiful. And today I'm headed out west, which means this is gonna be my third attempt to try out the new Track 36 RC track out at uh, Avon Town Hall Park, but it looks like this beautiful weather may cloud up and turn to rain here in just a little bit. So, third try may not be so good. I may not get, once again, may not get to try out this track. I don't know what they do in the rain. I honestly, I can film in the rain. I got GoPros and a waterproof uh, Galaxy S7 to film with, but will they let me? I don't know. I got a feeling this is gonna be another failed attempt. But like they say, with every door closed, another vlog opens. Let's do this. Let's see, I'm gonna need an RC car. And these $20 ones will do, but I wish they had a Chevy Silverado. They do have some like Corvettes and stuff, but no trucks. I think I'll go with this uh, Dodge Ram. It'll do. Right. So the sun came out. Um, it's still really cloudy, but no real dark clouds, and the sun is shining at the moment. I got that RC truck here at Walmart. Now I'm gonna head down here to this park. It did rain quite a bit this morning, so it may be closed, and I'm gonna be disappointed because this is my third try trying to race on this track. But it's not all their fault. I mean, between the weather and me having a good RC car to use, you know, there's other factors. I've got a plan B. If this place is closed, I've got something else I think I can bring you for today's vlog. Okay, here we are. I see one car over there, but I don't see a soul. Every time I've come here, there's been a lot of people. And I mean, I know it rained all morning, but right now it's nice. I'm surprised there's nobody out here. I thought it looked like this was gonna be open. But I got a feeling that once again the sign fell, just like last time I came out here. Let's see. Track closed, stay off. Oh. Let me put the sign back up so other people know. That's not gonna stay up, is it? Oh yeah, it isn't draining very good at all. Look at this. Lake over here in this corner. I don't know, it might be fun if you had an RC car you didn't mind getting wet. But mine's brand new, I don't want to tear it up already. Third time's not a charm for me, I guess, not today anyway. And again, I can't race on the track. Lucky for me, I am out here every week, so I will be able to do this another time. But like I said, I've got a plan B. Let's go check out plan B. And the plan B is I've got a cousin that lives out here, and she told me about another park that is just a minute up the road is what she said. And I'm not even gonna GPS it because I trust her directions. Um, shout out to Mandy for the uh, tip on this park. She says, th they call this the Orange Park, but it's technically called the Washi Avon Washington Township Park, something like that. And she says that there is a haunted bridge at this park. Um, I don't know if there's more than one bridge and one of them's haunted or if there's just one. I'm hoping there's just one bridge so it's easy to find, but uh, doing some road construction here so they make you drive on the little grooves on the side again I apologize if you see me sucking on my alto weights but I need these these are helping me uh, not smoke cigarettes and it's been almost three weeks now Washington Township Community Park all right they've got some really big slides and stuff over here and playground equipment that is bright orange let's go ahead and park here all right so I'll give you an idea where I'm at there's a parking lot behind me playground equipment back over there gazebo here and I love how they label it like I wouldn't know what a gazebo is if I didn't have that sign but first let's take a look at this map okay where am I okay you are here okay that's not a river that's actually a fishing pond 
wooden decks. You've got I've seen those across there. You've got wooden decks. And then it looks like I've got to come way out here for this uh, haunted bridge. 1875 Iron Whipple Trust Bridge. Carlson's Bridge? Maybe that's the haunted bridge. No, it's got to be that iron one. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and walk it. Well, I guess now. I guess I'm way up here. Getting all the way down there is going to be pretty far, I bet. I don't know. Can't be too bad. Let's give it a shot. All right, here's that fishing pond. Swimming, ice fishing, and boating prohibited. State fishing guidelines apply. So you can fish out here, but it's going to be like catch and release, I bet. Bluebird. Um, it says beginner. I think this is the trail. Is it up there or down here? This is my trail, I guess. I guess I'm on the right trail, but I wanted to show you guys. I'm in like a little valley and they've got trails that go up. Those are really steep. I would want to climb that. And it's like all around me. I'm in, the, I'm in this nice little valley. There's where I came from. And there's the hills. It goes way up there. I just hope I'm going the right way here. Okay, so here's that small bridge I've seen on the map. Certainly not the haunted bridge. This looks fairly new, recently built. Let's see. All right, so here's my path I'm walking on. And if you look way up there, I can barely see a steel bridge. So I'm in the right location. How you doing? You know anything about this uh, bridge? Supposedly haunted? Huh? A little bit. You know, you know. There's a, is there a story behind it? Um, I've heard a few. Oh, really? Yeah, the your nice. typical ghost stories. All right, so I can see the bridge up there. Really? Yeah, it's. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's not the bridge even. <laughs> right as I was just saying that that was the bridge, I could see it. The guy that had just informed me, he told me that there was a. I didn't want to. I didn't want to put the camera in his face, but there's a guy back here. He told me that um, there's a couple ghost stories behind the bridge. He says that one is like a woman had to jump off with her baby because a train was coming and they didn't survive. Um, another one is a guy maybe fell in concrete while they were building it and he stuck in there. Pretty typical ghost stories, but who knows? Who knows what's true and what's not? Um, but he did say that this is not the bridge. This is not the haunted bridge. This is a cool old bridge. I'm gonna show you guys that bridge, but this is not the haunted bridge. And he told me how to get to it. You gotta go right up here, so. And he says it's a little bit further walk, but I don't mind. Here's what I thought was the haunted bridge. And I'll go up and give you guys a better look, but I wanted to show you guys this sign right here. Indianapolis Road Bridge. Built circa 1875, this type of bridge is known as a Whipple Truss Bridge. It's the one I seen on the map for sure. A uh, name for an engineer who first designed this style of bridge. Squire Whipple was his name, who lived from 1804 to 1888. This bridge was built by Columbia Bridge Works of Dayton, Ohio. The Whipple Truss was patented in 1847. And so there you go. This is a really cool old bridge. And look at that. It must be the hood. Shoes dangling. There's a great view from up here. Of the creek. Down below. The spring has sprung. Looking pretty out here. I apologize for any wind noise, by the way. Really pretty. That is a pretty cool bridge, but now I gotta see this uh, haunted bridge. Now, I wonder, do I take this trail? He said it would be a trail that goes off to the right, but there's a little path here, and then there's this thing. What is that sign? There's a stop sign there. Okay, so this is like a bike trail. Yeah, I don't know if that other path even continued this far. I'm glad I took this path. There is that bridge I was just at. I just wanted to show you guys, look how clear this water is here. The water slows down and you can see it's got to be right there. It looks like it's about four or five feet deep. 
and you can see them rocks on the bottom no problem which is pretty pretty good for a creek usually these things are pretty dirty here and it continues that way all right so here's another little path that leads off to the side over to the creek let's stop and take a look because they've got this big mound of gravel that just protrudes out the middle of the creek so you got yourself a little island but a runoff flowing in there looks kind of neat but what really has got my attention is back up here on this path I'm walking on because I think I can see can you see that let me see you see that off behind all them trees is a huge bridge that's a serious bridge let's go take a look all right I have found our haunted bridge this is crazy look at this Wow I'm guessing there is um, train track up there looks like um, I see you see this graffiti if you look in these holes you look real close you can see graffiti so people have climbed up in there which is kind of crazy you know it's really kind of hard to tell from this video but these arches are just massive I'm not very good at judging distance but it's huge see a piece of cable just hung loose look at this still connected up there somewhere that can't be good this thing must be just getting old more graffiti on this side if you look in those little holes and I'm guessing that's why they have signs out here that say there's 24 hour surveillance I didn't know cars could drive through here okay thought this was a walking path I'm standing all on the road <laughs> okay the sign says the haunted bridge a longtime Avon landmark, the bridge was designed by engineer W.N. Dune using cast in place concrete spandrel arches. The bridge was built in 1906 with the Big Four Railroad and has inspired many tales of supernatural activities. During construction, a drunken worker slipped and was buried in the wet cement. When a train goes over the bridge, people claim to still hear his moaning. A young mother was walking along the track to take her sick baby to the doctor and fell from the bridge and both were killed. At night, the sounds of the mother screaming for the baby can be heard. Four workers fell to their death during the bridge construction. People still hear the thuds and splashes in the creek, but upon investigation, the water appears calm. What a really cool place I found here. Uh, big shout out to Mandy for telling me about this one. This is really neat. And I think my plan next is to come out here with the drone and fly and see if I can get up around there and get some shots of it. I don't know if I'm allowed to. We'll just have to play that one by ear. But uh, very cool place. Come check it out. I like it. See you guys all tomorrow. Peace. I can do.